Greetings, I am Dr. S. Monish Balaji, known as SMB. Today, we will be talking about Facies in Medicine, Part 3. As before, first, the image will be provided and you may try to guess the diagnosis using the characteristic facies depicted. Then, the basics of that facies will be explained. This image shows characteristic bloodhound facies seen in generalized cutis laxa. It is characterized by loss of elasticity and lax skin. This image shows simian or dog facies seen in congenital hypertrichosis lanuginose. It is characterized by the presence of fine blonde hair over the face which blends with that of the scalp. This image depicts the characteristic hepatic facies. It is characterized by shrunken eyes, hollowed temporal fossae, pinched up nose, parched lips, muddy complexion, shallow and dry face with ictris. It is seen in many disorders which involve the liver to a great extent. This image depicts Hutchison facies which is supposed to be characteristic of neurosyphilis. The peculiar facial expression produced is due to the drooping eyelids and motionless eyes in external of thalmoplegia. This image depicts the characteristic triangular facies noted in Alagili syndrome and Russell Silver syndrome. This image depicts the typical mongoloid facies of Down syndrome. It is characterized by apparent macroglossia, epicanthal folds, mongoloid slant of the eyes, low set ears and a flattened bridge of the nose. This image shows adenoid facies characterized by underdeveloped thin nostrils, a short upper lip, prominent crowded upper teeth, high arched palate and a dumb expression. It is seen in adenoid hypertrophy. This image shows Moskov facies seen in systemic sclerosis. It is characterized by loss of wrinkling leading to soothing of the skin. There is a pursed oral aperture known as fish mouth appearance or pursed string appearance of the mouth, atrophy and tightening of the skin is evident. This is seen in systemic sclerosis. Thank you.